Hello, this is Erica and welcome back to our balloon series. On today, we're going to be showing you exactly how to tie all of our balloons together into clusters and form our balloon garland. Stay tuned. Erica, aka Logic of Lux and Logic Event Design, and now we're ready for the long-awaited garland assembly. So today, that is what we are going to be working on. I have my balloons that I'm going to be using today. I have my balloon pump, so let's go ahead and get started. Before you put your uh, garland together, you want to go ahead and find uh, your balloons, of course. Any balloons will do. But our preference here on this channel is making organic balloon garland. So we're gonna be using three size balloons today. This is our 18 inch balloon. Gonna be using a 12 inch balloon and a five inch balloon. And how we're gonna make our clusters today, we'll be adding two 18 inch balloons and four 12 inch balloons to make a six balloon cluster. I will be showing you that. All right, so we're gonna start with cluster number one, and we're gonna be using an electric balloon pump to blow these balloons up on today. Okay, after we've blown up these two balloons, they're about the same size right now, so we are gonna go ahead and tie the next of the balloons together right here. So we're gonna cross over we're gonna tie them close, flip them, and then tie them in a simple square knot as in previous videos. And this is our first pair here. All right, these are my two pairs, and now I'm gonna make a cluster by combining these two at the middle knot, crossing them one on top of another, and then just twisting them around each other until they form a good knot. So this is what you should have when you're done. I like to make balloon pairs in four, sixes, and eights. So let's add our 18 inch balloons and see how much bigger this cluster gets. Okay, here is our 18 inch pair. And this is our four clustered balloons of 12 inch balloons blown up in different sizes. So. You're gonna take the same center knot and you're gonna find the center knot in this, which is right here. Let's make a close up right here and here. So you're going to combine these together on the same middle knot, okay? You may have to use your body a little bit to make this happen and you're just gonna knot these around a couple of balloons to ensure that the knot is really tight in the middle. And then you can just rearrange your balloons as you want them. So now this is what we have. And today's balloon garland, we're using three colors. We're using teal, silver, and white. So here are our white balloons. These happen to be our five inch balloons. I just want to show you exactly how we blow these up. You are definitely gonna need to have your nozzle tips adhered to your electric balloon pump in order to blow these up, or you will need to use your hand pump to blow these up. Okay, so these are the nozzles that come with my balloon pump. You can take them on and off. You can leave them off to blow up big balloons and you want to put them on to blow up the small ones, okay? So make sure you have those on so that the tops of your balloons, the necks of your balloons will be able to fit over it and you'll be able to it. And then I'm just going to deflate my balloons a little bit in varying sizes and I'm just gonna twist them around twice because the necks are a bit longer on these. And then um, tie a knot just like this. And I will continue on in that way until I have blown up all of the small balloons. Okay, 
You'll learn to get very <laughs> big at this or fast at this uh, the more that you do it. So you just put them together just like you do the larger ones. So this is a five inch cluster and this is a 12 inch cluster. As you can see, there's a big difference in the size. Okay, the last color that we're going to inflate is going to be our silver balloons. And this balloon is an 18 inch balloon and we will do it just as we did the blue quad with the two 18 inch balloons and the four 12 inch balloons. <laughs> Now we will blow up the 12 inch balloons. And again, we're gonna vary the sizes. All right, let's combine some of these dupes up to make a quad, okay? So of course, you guys should have this by now. You take your two, Balloons, by the knot, you're going to combine them like sandwich bread, okay? And you're just going to, this is how you combine and then you just continue to twist and twist, making a very tight knot right here. And you can add as many as you like. I've seen people add up to 10 balloons per quad or per cluster. Um, to make it as voluminous as you want or as small as you want, okay? So the smaller the quad, let's see. If you use four balloons and you pair them together, okay? You're gonna get more length than if you combine all of these together to make one ball. This is what I mean by if you're trying to create volume or are you trying to create length, okay? See, it's more length this way. But if you want to create volume, you're going to cluster all these together and you're not going to, you're going to lose length for volume. Okay? I hope you guys understand that. If you don't, put a comment down below and I'll make another video explaining it or I'll do a TikTok that'll be like a quick short that I can explain it a little bit better. Just let me know in the comments. And also let me know in the comments what you guys are struggling with so that I can make videos to help you guys be a success, okay? Just an FYI or a tip when you are doing balloon garlands. As you can see, my shirt has lots of white powder or residue from balloons. In the beginning, my shirt was a very nice navy blue, but this is what happens. It also gets on your hands. Um, it makes my, <laughs> these balloons makes my hands really dry after I've done a lot of them. So if you see my hands look a bit ashy, it could be powder or it could be my skin is just super dry from using balloons. So before you go in the comments and get on me for not using lotion, that's what the deal is. Okay, that's the deal. That's the deal. Okay, now I have finished blowing up all of the balloons that I would like to blow up. And now it's time to combine them together to create a beautiful balloon garland. Let's go. We're back with the final portion of this video and that is the assembly portion. There are several ways that you can assemble your balloon garland. I have a favorite technique that my sister absolutely hates, but it saves on supplies and I just like to do it this way. <laughs> My technique is tying the necks of the balloons together to combine my garland in length. Her favorite technique is using 260s, which we showed you on our previous video. 260s are one inch by 260 inches. So it's one inch in thickness and it's 260 inches long if you blow it all together. I think that's how it goes, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, okay? Don't come for me in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you actually know, but I think it is something like that. 
but it's like a long rubber band that's not tied together okay so basically you would tie them together with that i will be showing you that technique as well but of course i have to show what i love the most and i let me tell you what i hate oh i hate fishing line fishing line if not done properly will give you a loose balloon garland that you can see gaps in between it can also cut your balloons so that they will pop or begin to deflate while your balloons are installed. So it's my least favorite of them all. Tying the necks of the balloons together is number one and using the 260 is number two because it's like balloon on balloon. And of course, balloons love each other. They love to be tightly snug together. Okay, that's enough explanation. Erica, get to it. We have two balloon quads, okay? These are four balloons put together, tied together. And I am gonna be showing you how to put this neck, which is inside of here, and this neck together, okay? These, you choose the longest one that is in your quad. So this is the knot that we made, and this is just the balloon necks that come out of it, okay? This is what I mean when I say tie the necks together. So we're gonna find that in one. And then you're gonna find your longest neck in quad number two, which I have found. And I am going to show you the best way possible how to tie these together. So I'm gonna come in close. This is my first neck here. This is my second one, okay? And now I'm just going to basically tie them together. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys a better way, just a minute. I'm gonna put it like this, okay? So these are my two. I'm just wrapping it around like that. And I'm just gonna tie a knot. This is the two necks together. And I'm just gonna go in here and just tie a knot, a regular knot that you would tie any old kind of way. There's nothing special about this knot and I'm just snugging it really tightly, okay? Now these two are married together, okay? And this is what you get. This is the beginning of your garland. And I will continue to do that. On this end, you'll find another neck or the opposite end. And I will be tying the next balloon onto it, okay? I will show you again, okay? Forgive me, I have a little bit of the sniffles, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna get grab them together so that you can see on camera how I'm doing this. I usually do this in another way that you wouldn't be able to see, but I'm trying to show you how easy it really is. You're just tying these over in a regular knot like that, okay? And then I am tying it again, trying to make sure that the balloons are out of the way while I hold them. Usually it's a little bit more, let me see, maybe if I turn this way. And then you can see how it's the, <laughs> okay. So usually I go in and I pull it really tight so you really can't see inside of it. And I'm just tying again inside of here. And then you'll see that this one is also tied. I think the first example was the best I couldn't grab it enough for you guys to see. But this is what you're doing. And I just love this way. Why? Because you use less supplies. And if I was to forget to bring my 260s on the job or my fishing line, I could still make a garland without it. Okay? So you need a bit of finger strength to do this. But after you get endurance in your fingers you're you're golden okay you're golden so i'm going to continue in this way these are three clusters together 
I'm gonna continue in this way and add on the other colors. I'm gonna add silver next. Now, I will say this about shiny balloons or mirrored balloons. Silver is pretty good, okay? Silver is pretty good for having long necks on the balloons and they're pretty stretchy. But you will use balloons like from Simpertex, the Reflex balloons. Sometimes the balloons are really thick. They're beautiful balloons, I'll show you but they're a bit harder to tie. Also, double stuff balloons are a bit harder to tie in this way, but you can manage it with finger strength and endurance. You just gotta keep at it, keep practicing, and make sure you grab the longest neck inside of the bundle that you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and do uh, the next one, which is silver. This is my white that I'm gonna use for the neck. It's very long. And then usually your large balloon will have a long neck on it. So I try to use the large balloon neck to tie and not um, the other one. So you would be able to tell it because it's a thicker, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a regular 12 inch one and this one is a 18 inch but it just doesn't matter whichever one you choose to use, make sure it's good, okay? Make sure it's the longest one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie. I'm gonna try to get at a better angle so you guys can see inside here. I have the white and I have the silver together right here, if you can see. And then I'm just going to tie it together like this and then I'm just gonna make a knot inside and then there we are it is tied together okay so again this is what your garland is looking like so far without using any other tools besides the balloons that you've already blown up. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to tie your balloons together with a 260 balloon. Stay tuned. I have to flatten it so you, I can show you guys. Basically, I'm taking this neck and I'm wrapping it around my pink 260 and I'm just going to make a knot. I have to look in the camera to try to do this and it's very weird to do, so I'm a little bit slower. If I was doing this without having to show you, I would be a bit faster. All right, that, there is the first knot. The first knot is made, and I'm gonna tie it again, just to give it some extra security, okay? So tie it twice, and then you will have something like a little yo-yo, okay? This is what it looks like inside. Okay, so now you want to add more to this one balloon. So I'm gonna take another quad here and I am going to place it on top. Okay, mind you, hold your 260 in the middle. Place this on top, okay? You're going to bring your 260 up, okay, up from the middle, and then you're going to go inside of this. Make sure you lock the middle the middle knot of that section, and you're gonna go down, okay? You're going to go down to the middle of the initial section, okay, all the way down, and I'm going around, you can see inside of this thing here, and I'm going back up, and I'm doing a little figure eight, and up, okay? And now, these two are attached together and I still have a good long string 
to add more balloons. Okay, we are now completely done. As you can see, we've added the detail balloons, these little small five inch balloons here. And Adrian is coming down off of her mountain top. And this is how you make a balloon garland.